Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Zoho campaigns and MailChimp. The first thing I will compare are pricing plans, then I will look on main features and advantages and disadvantages I personally see. I'm not paid by Zoho campaigns or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other that you should use that or that one. I'm just going to give you my owner's review what I think about it. So let's start. When you would go to Zoho pricing, it's much cheaper comparing to MailChimp. You can see it right here. So the email based plan or subscriber based plan, which I think is the best because you got autoresponders here, workflows, and you would have 5,000 emails. Oppa. Not that I wanted to click. Let me click again here. And let's click about 5,000. That's 34 euro monthly and or like $39, $40 per month. There is a huge advantage MailChimp has comparing to Zoho is that MailChimp offers you free accounts. So if you would go here to MailChimp, you can see it right here, free account up to 2000 contacts. Zoho campaigns doesn't have it. But what they have is 45 euro a month subscriber based plan and with 5000 subscribers. And let's say that you would have 5000 subscribers in MailChimp you would pay $80 on standard version. So that's like $60, 60 euro, 65 euro. So as you can see, Zoho campaign is cheaper. And now let's look on the main features. First, Zoho campaigns, in my opinion, got a simpler way how we can use it comparing to MailChimp. It's much easier to understand and learn how to work with it. Now, the next thing, Zoho campaigns got uh, more templates comparing to MailChimp and automations in my opinion are easier. So when I would click on the automations, I can, you can create autoresponder or workflow and I can simply create a workflow and you have plenty of templates like for e-commerce, welcome and onboarding, and you can use templates. You don't have it in MailChimp. When you would come here, you just have that what you can actually create the automation, but in Zoho campaign, you get actually template that you can use and you just edit everything, right? So you just select the form, right? Then you can create the message. So that this is like perfect. Oh, my camera is off right now. And you can see me right now. So this is what I like about Zoho. So if you want to look work, work posts or automations, go with the Zoho only because it's prettier, it's easier to use. It's more complex, but most importantly, you got templates that you can use for automations for how you can create actually campaigns in Zoho. You can, let's say, edit the content here and you can have click pre-designed templates. And you're going to see plenty of templates that you can use. Look at this and let's go with a rarity, use this template and then we'll look how MailChimp works, right? So you can see right here, text, image, pretty simple, pretty easy. And this works similar comparing to whatever you like to use, right? And you can drop it anywhere you want. MailChimp also too, even you would go here to Campaign Builder, you can simply save and close. Take the box text, drop the block here, change the photo. And they have also templates, but not that many as Zoho. So this is pretty much it. And this is how it works. They got both pop up. Uh, MailChimp has SMS campaigns, but the Zoho doesn't have. MailChimp got, look at this on the reviews, 1.7 from 5. So not really great. Only because MailChimp is like also with Zoho. Just not that great from the customer support. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. If you're looking for someone with a good customer support and good everything, I would recommend sending blue or test mail right. And these are much better from the customer support and email marketing software. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See you.